Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm going to give you the cards for Saturday and Sunday. I'm going to use the uh, Archangel Metatron um, cards. Uh, Archangel Metatron is used to clear sh um, uh, what you call it, the chakras, and he also is the angel of um, moving home and pro and helping you to sell your house if you would like. And he's also the angel that works with geometrical um, shapes. And um, let's have a look. He's also the angel of your crown chakra, also known by some as the soul chakra. And he also represents the color white. Now, um, Archangel Metatron, I've known him for years and I've been speaking to him for years, but he is awesome. He's also the Archangel for Indigo, Crystal and Rainbow Children and Children with ADD. Okay, so he can heal and he's also, he's, he represents a, a lot of uh, care and prospects. And he's awesome, and I love him to bits. Um, he he's one of my favourite angels, and so is Archangel Muriel. So let's get started with the cards. Let's see what you can see in very simple pictures. Okay, I'll only get two or three words, and I'll I'll show you what I see. Okay, you've got um. um for the first card and that will be for saturday we have made the ca made the camera lower to the table so you'll be able to pick up i'll remove the card so you you will only concentrate on just one card you've got mother earth so that means grounding and support so ground yourself this day saturday or this weekend Try to clear, let, open yourself up to Archangel Metatron so that he can clear your energy fields, the chakras, and though that your uh, ground chakra is red and the um, sacral chakra is orange, and you've also got yellow, which is your emotional chakra. And you hear me about that, and your heart chakra is pink and green. Turquoise is the Themis. Themis is a little clan near the heart, so he'll, he'll clear that one as well. Then you've got the third eye chakra, and then you've got the fifth eye. And there, and that's also known as the angelic chakra. That is just above just in between your eyebrows just above your eyes and then you've got the crown chakra and that is uh, white and purple so you've got mother earth so it's saying ground yourself in order and this is what i just see from the picture okay if you ground yourself, then it means steadfastness. It means that you are not stressed, that you are healing and that you, you are secure within yourself and grounded. Now the ground represents that. And then you've got the yellow in the picture. I'll start first, what do I see? I see a square. And a square is solid, like a house. So that is what I see. But if you go deeper into it, then you see a hexagram, and that's six sides. Because this square is transparent, and it's, and it's vibrating. Look, at it was becoming from big to smaller. It's so many different interpretations. And then you've got the sky, so you've got, you can create space. So there are things that can grow anew. That is beautiful. So that is on Saturday. So ground yourself. And so let, 
so that you can let go of the old that is of no use to you and that you can uh, let in new vibrations, happiness, because of the yellow and the square is in the yellow and that will ground you as well. And the new shoots are growing out. Now this is number 18, that's 9. It becomes a 9 and that means an end of a phase. So there might there will be an ending on Saturday. If you ground yourself, you are ready to go out into the open space. You and blue is Michael, and blue is also the throat chakra. And love, and you've got the pink sky as well. So that you can be sure of yourself, what you say, and how you say it, and let the love come in so that your emotional chakra is also open. And the pink and green is your heart chakra, so that you're emotionally balanced. This is for Capricorn, by the way. And then the second card, that's Sunday. Look at this, and that explains that card even more. Water, emotional well-being, so that you're emotionally happy well-being and it's number seven that means good luck and here we've got the green and the blues so green is healing and is the heart chakra again now we're going on to uh, aquarius aquarius letting go time for release this is a lovely card number four again releasing like capricorn and letting go of stuff you don't need. Time for <coughs> release. And you've got the red chakra. Also for grounding. Okay. And yellow. To open up your emotional chakra. The solar plex. And then the pinks. There are some pinks. Slightly pinks. More green uh, for healing. But pink and green are the heart chakra. And then blue, so that you, the blue is the throat chakra, so that you be able to talk smoothly, charmingly, so letting new love come in. Wow, and I didn't even, I haven't even turned the card, and we've got the heart. So heal your heart and ground yourself, and your emotional chakra, passion, love for life enjoy life we've all got the face of autumns winter when things are dormant and when things are dormant it might be might not be actual winter but you are in the winter you're not letting go of things so now spring is coming in look at the flow of these colors so that you can enjoy the summer again the fire the passion the yellowness beautiful Okay, now we're going on to Pisces. Pisces, I did check the cards uh, before I started, but this is how they come in order. And you've got 55, an ending, a new beginning. As 55 is an angel number, the angels are definitely with you. And you've got a double number, but a 5 and a 5 is a 10, an ending and a new beginning. Ground yourself. This is the red color, this overheating, so it means ground yourself, safety, strength and power, so that you are certain, when you ground yourself, you are certain, and you feel strong and vibrant, and you, you are in your power. Then we have conquering fear, number 17, start today, that's for Sunday. Conquering fear. Believe in yourself that you can get back into your own power when you ground yourself. Then you can talk much easier because that's blue. And indigo. Indigo is the um, the um, the third eye chakra, so that you can be more spiritual. Look at this beautiful angel. That's Metatron giving you protection and keeping you warm with his wings. So let it in, let your spirituality awaken. Your spirituality might be high and emotions initiative. Okay, have faith. 
Number 17. Again, 1 and 7 becomes 8. The house of money and strength. Now we're going to Aries. Aries. You've got number 3, 30. Be creative. Again, you've got a lot of pink and blues. And black is the color of all the colors in the spectrum. So use all the colors to your advantage. Open up your chakras. Learn to communicate. Okay, heal your heart. Most of all is heal your heart. Silver, silver. Warrior of light. Warrior of light, that is Metatron. So call up on him if you need the warm light to heal your heart. Learn to talk, learn to heal, learn to let go. And then you've got blue, Madonna and Mothering, 29. 29 going on to 30. And you've got an angel number here. The angels are with you. And be open to receive the healing for your chakras and your heart uh, healing to the angels, especially Metatron. That is like our Virgin Mary. Sit in peace. Perhaps you might be doing more yoga or meditation. Listen to what your feelings are saying. Communicate with the universe. Now we're going to Taurus. Taurus. You've got Kundalini, untapped energy, Kundalini, 35. So be open, all your chakras, your energy is flowing really fast on Saturday. You might be really energetic and fired up in the positive sense, not in the negative sense. You might be really sensitive to faith, trust, the universe, emotions, you've got so much purple. Perhaps you are very acute in communication today because of the blue. That's the throat chakra. Awesome. Beautiful. Metatron is cleaning your chakras. Can you feel it? Perhaps something's changing. And untapped talent and untapped energy is awakening. Wow. Perhaps you're more... Um, energetic today okay you be open to new beginnings perhaps leadership being a teacher a guide or um, yeah a guide for the elderly or for the children perhaps you want to be start to teach or have chosen a new profession and you've got eight you are standing in your power eight 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 and eight is sixteen. That becomes seven. Luck is on your side. Leadership. Answer the call. Aha! Well, I was just talking about being uh, changing your uh, uh, what you call it, your job, your career. Perhaps you are answering an, a, a call, something that you wanted to do. Be a guide to the old, or a guide in some way, or rather, or teacher or perhaps a guide in a museum it's amazing open your solar plexus so much yellow and purples and you are grounded you are strong you've ate eight you are in your strength there might be a rise there might be a, you might have heard yesterday or today that if you're working today that you are promoted okay good stuff now we're going on to a Gemini. Look at all these colors. I just love this deck. Gemini, you've got lilac and you are in the spirituality as well. Perhaps you feel spiritual today or are you very emotionally sensitive? Okay. Um, and you've got number 54. 54, which becomes a nine. And that means an ending. There are endings today for you. Perhaps there are things that are not clear to you. But you're definitely one. You like your crown chakra. That's white. So that is also spirituality. And purple. So there's a very sp uh, spiritual day. Lilac. 
higher realms and magic. Perhaps you feel more connected to play with that higher realm. Okay. And you've got 38 chakra, the light body. Perhaps you might even, yeah, the light body. Let me see what I imagine with this. All your, uh, your energy is flowing positively. And that's why you can go higher into your mind, perhaps, or higher in life spiritually. And the light body is awesome. You've got a number 11. Wow. So the angels are working with you and through you. Look at the flow of that color going from the crown chakra into the, the, um, the oh, what do you call it? The crown chakra straight through to the body, balancing. Perhaps you are balancing to out today and have opened up to the higher realms. There is magic around your gems. Okay, go for it, my darlings. Perhaps you feel at ease and less stressed because you are feeling light and airy like you are the air sign. Okay, Cancer, you've got 48, the world, retreat, rest and pause. You're overdoing it, Cancer, you're overdoing it. Take some time out. That is what the card is suggesting. Learn how to take time out. I know you are always go, go, go. Most, most of you are. Now remember, this is a general card for Saturday. And you've got 48. So that is a 12. And a 12 becomes 3. Be creative to make time and rest. Pause. Pause, pause, pause. You'll burn, you're burning the candle. On, I'm hearing you're burning the candle on both ends, mentally and physically. Now, you've got a very beautiful card. You've got Metatron's Rainbow Bridge. You're always open. Yes, like I just said, always on the go. You're open to, can you do this? Can you do that? Learn to say no. Learn to say no. Make an end to always being a people pleaser. That is what I'm also hearing. Please yourself for once. Take that rest. Um, somebody, an ancestor, is here with you at the moment. Um, it could be a grandmother or a grandfather. But they're warning you. Don't burn yourself out. The rainbow. You've got... You know, everybody nearly has... Uh, all the colors of the rainbow today, but you've got to double up because black is all the colors and none, as, the, as they say. And now I'm hearing so below, so above. So, please, everybody around you, so well as above, as below, is telling you, slow down. Okay? So listen to them. But your favorite person from... The above is here with you. You might find it chilly or cold, or you might have seen a sign. Okay, so Metatron has created a bridge, and that's the rainbow. Always open. Remain open, but do learn to say no to certain things. Now we're going on to Leo. Leo, you have white light. White light. Purity and innocence. Oh, sorry, I've got it. I've got it upside down. And I love this um, card, and it's telling me white light and purity and innocent. And you've got two sides to innocence. Don't be naive. And the other side is be more playful. Don't be so serious. And be pure at heart, okay, and be more childlike, let your inner child come out, but don't be naive, and this diamond shape is also a geometrical shape, because it's all got facets, learn to polish each facet, take it in turns, don't do too much at the same time, you've got 51, so 
So that is a six, get back into balance, Leo. Get back into balance. And this card that I've got now is boundaries. What did I tell you? Know your boundaries and don't be naive. Know your how far you can go. Let your inner child come out. Be a little bit open and wide. Okay. This is a picture from Clastonbury, and this card also mean, reminds me of the Ace of Pentacles that has got an archway in a lot of decks. So if you want to reach your castle, take this key and open the door to positivity and purity and innocence. Okay, your inner child. Open that door. This also looks like a heart to me. Open your heart chakra. Now you've got, you are protected by the angels and you've got white light by the color of the wings. This is a wing protecting you. So open your spirituality and your, your crown chakra. Yep, spirituality. Have faith in yourself. Trust yourself. Open your, listen to your feelings. Open your open or close door. Close the door to negative feelings. Be in your power. Okay, you are in balance. Here you're not in balance because you've got fourteen, and that's a five. So know your boundaries. Set them daily. You can adjust your boundaries. You can close the door every day to something else like negativity or something that you don't want and open the door to something you do want but I feel there is a new beginning with you okay now we're going to Virgo Virgo you've got an amazing card it's a puzzle card if you can sit here and look at it for hours okay now it's number 28 so like i said um that is a 10 28 becomes a 10 an ending a new beginning karma Ooh, karma untidying the sorry untidying untying the knots untying the knots well you'll be sitting here all day like i said you can sit around that. It's like a little puzzle that you can get. I don't know whether you know what I mean, but it's like you can get these puzzles and then there is a dog here and the bone there and the roads are blocked. So, um, and this is how the way I think and see things. So untie those knots, open the doors, um, take away those blocks. And so take away what is of no use to you. And when you close your eyes, it usually sometimes looks all black and then light and then different lights are coming in. So take away those blocks that you might have. That is the message here, karma, untying the knots. Remember, if you've done good, you get threefold back. If you've done negative then you'll get it threefold back but if you can now untie the knots of arguments then correct it and then karma will good karma will come to you there is a new beginning so i would say if you have had arguments and you can't correct it or apologize then so be it there is an ending okay but the, where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. Okay, you've got the green heart healing. Yes, you will be healing because green stands for the heart chakra and healing. And you most probably need space. So go out into nature. Go out into nature. If you look, you've got like an emerald in a diamond. And if you look very carefully, it looks like trees in the background. So that's why I'm saying go outside and relax and heal. You need space. This is what I'm getting. You don't feel tied up. You might be feeling also tied up. And you've got 39. 
which becomes a 12. 12 becomes a 3. Be creative in untying the knots or the blocks. Okay, now we're going to Libra. Libra, you've got Archangel Sandal from with you right now. And you have the heart chakra as well, the pinks. It's more pinkish, so it's also healing the heart, opening yellow. Um, and yellow here going to orange. So um, that is the secretal, secretal um, chakra, okay? That's just above the yellow, the emotional chakra. So heal the emotions that you have in your guts. Open your guts, your intuitiveness. That is also ground yourself, but open your heart and enjoy life. Perhaps it is time that you sit down and relax and take time out and listen to quiet music and your inner voice, your intuition and open up your emotions. If you open up, you will be able to laugh much more because you will be susceptible to, you'll be in fit, um, be infected by beautiful things and laughter. 22 becomes a four, so stability, stronger, feeling stronger in yourself. And the angels are here, not only Sandalfon, but it says Sandalfon is here with you now. So talk to him. He is a healing angel. Okay, so then we've got go with the flow, pedal on, don't give up when the tough gets going, then pull back, regroup and go ahead, go forth, okay, the angels are here with you, there will be stability, you are going towards stability and here you've got 42, so you will be going back to balance you'll get back to balance okay and sandal from it will help you to heal your tears and if you've had an upset and a tough time and you're out of balance stability is coming back on saturday if you take time out regroup and go forth and go with the flow be more open to gentleness and just keep on paddling. That is for Libra. Now we're going on to Scorpio. Ooh, you might certainly have a new beginning because you've got fire and you've got the dragon strength. You're as strong as a dragon. But this to me looks also a bit like the Phoenix rising from the ashes. So new beginning. And you're going towards balance. 19 is, um, is a 10. So 10 is an even number. And that's balance. Endings. Rising up. Number one. Boom. New beginning. That's for you, Scorpio. And heal that emotional chakra and the heart chakra. You've got pinks in here and purple. But also the emotional chakra. Yellow. Archangel Jovial. Okay, Archangel Jovial and Gabriel are with you and Ariel because of the orange. That's um, Gabriel and red is earthing. So that is Ariel. You've got also Michael, you've got some blue and Indigo. Indigo is Razil. Okay, you've got four of the major besides Metatron with you today. So call upon him. Wake up call. Listen and take note. Let, right, take it's a, a wake up call that there is an ending and to heal your emotional chakra. Okay. And you've got also the wake up call and that is a number eight, I think. No, number eleven. 10, 11, the angels are with you. You're getting a porthole. Num 10 becomes a 1, and that's a new beginning, and also the angels' porthole. You're being called upon 
um, you're going being called upon to um, accept this new start and that there is an ending, perhaps unexpected. Okay. We're going on to Sagittarius. Oh, Sagittarius. Blessings and thanks. Abundant, abundant universe. Um, abundant, you've got the horn of abundance. <clears throat> Excuse me. Archangel Metatron is giving you the horn of abundance. Number 47. That is also 11. So that becomes a 2. So the angels are here. And 2 is also an angel number. But also basically it is an even number. And it is a 1-1-2. One, one, so you are back in balance. Call upon the angels if you want. Abundance is coming in. It can be love. It can be money. It can be um, friends. So, whatever you need and wish for or want is coming to you. Then you have the beacon. Be the beacon. Shine, shine. And again, a double number, 44, is an 8. So, you are going to come into your power. Beautiful message for Sunday. I And your, you've got the orange here. That is the secretal chakra, the grounding chakra, the heart chakra, the green, and then you've got the pink, which is also the heart chakra. You're, you will become calm and you feel loved and you love yourself also a lot. You've got a beautiful color here. And here also your emotions and your spirituality, your intuitiveness, your emotions, the purple is spirituality, that's faith, faith in yourself is restored. Um, and Joe Field is also uh, yellow, and the angel of joy, the emotional chakra, okay, that's the solar plexus, open up and you shall receive. But remember, protect yourself, because if you are open, you are also open to negativity. Don't be influenced. Part, learn from the past. Open up and stand strong. The angels are with you. You are in your strength. And money might be coming because um, that is the money house. Number eight is strength and the money house. I hope you've all liked the, the readings for the weekend. And I wish you a beautiful weekend. Take care and God bless. Love you all. Ciao, ciao. Please don't forget to share and give us the thumbs up. And just a little note, what I've heard from a couple of other readers is that YouTube is um, deleting people from channels that aren't um, subscribed. So if you want to stay or would like to follow me, then please subscribe and make sure that YouTube doesn't delete you from the channel. So please hit that subscribe button and the thumb, uh, sorry, and the bell so that you'll be notified so you won't be blocked by YouTube. There's strange things happening. I'm not the only one. So go to Brenda Tarot. She's one of them as well that has heard that from somebody else. And we've got our own network. Take care, be blessed and enjoy your weekend.